What's up guys, it's Bankwerty here and welcome to the best montages on YouTube, episode 26. And this is actually the two year anniversary of uh, this series. And yeah, I've, I've had an episode out about every four weeks, which I'm quite happy about. The series has been doing well over the past two years and I still enjoy doing it. And we're starting it off here with the Rune Nation montage, edited by SLP. When I found out this is gonna come out, I thought like, well, only Gravity Spike montage, that won't be as good, but then watching it, I just realized how nice the idea behind this is, um, because it's something unique, and SLP obviously edited this so amazing, um, really like the 3D effects, and uh, the music he chose, is, it just worked out perfectly, even though a lot of people wouldn't consider these clips anything. I think it's still one of the best mantras on YouTube because it's been executed so well and it's uh, very unique. This montage is, in my opinion, the best solo montage that has come out so far in Black Ops 3. At least I've not seen a better one yet. And uh, this is Red Testy in his uh, Prestige Master montage, so basically all the best clips he hit until reaching the Master Prestige. And none of these clips are in Safeguard, which makes it even better because the clip standard is so crazy high. And uh, this has not come out on Red, it was only on his own channel, so. Um, I bet a lot of you guys haven't even seen this and you definitely have to watch it, check it out because it's such a crazy Taj and it really got my hopes up for a lot of bigger Tajs on Black Ops 3 later this year. So I'm usually not the type of guy to watch a lot of trick shotting episodes because they don't really impress me but um, I think I've had Vox on this series a couple of times so I watched his Black Ops 3 episode and uh, this actually really impressed me. It looks very nice with um, really clean edit on it and um, I've heard that trick shotters don't really like this game but uh, he made it look very good for trick shots and um, yeah I can't judge trick shots very well but the stuff he does looks it's just a very complex, uh, very creative and very amazing and um, yeah that's why I put this trick shotting episode in here because um, I really enjoyed it and yeah let's get on to the next one. The next video I've got for you guys is actually Christmas Team Tash by Team Virtue. It's uh, Black Ops 3 only and I gotta say they really did an insane job on this. Um, it's got a really nice simple rock edit to it with uh, some really good cinematics and uh, the clips are very high standard, um, especially the closer is in my opinion one of the best Black Ops 3 clips that I've seen so far and um, the seam touch really turned out well and in my, in my opinion it's uh, one of the better ones that came out like almost every team I've put in a Christmas team touch that I'm subbed to and this was one of my favorite ones for sure. Next up we have got another Christmas montage, this one is actually by Face Spratty and um, I've got to say he is currently one of my favorite YouTubers, if not most favorite, uh, because he's been doing so well on this game so far and um, he has got in my opinion one of the best shots in this game as well, but uh, yeah you might think there's not a lot of 5-ons in this or anything crazy, but you've got to consider that like 99% of the time he just plays uh, regular 6v6 modes because he's not a big fan of safeguard at all, doesn't like playing ground war um, anyway, so um, these clips are actually very nice, especially also because he uses the movement system a lot, just flies around the map and um, gets some really nice shots off, so this is definitely one of the best Christmas montages that came out. The next video here is introducing Darth Hexay and um, the reason I put this in here is um, you see very soon that uh, he uses the P06 a lot and in my opinion um, not enough people do that. It's not as easy to use as it looks. Um, he gets a shit ton of multis with it and really nice clips and um, because there's no other sniper like this gun um, it's actually a lot of fun to watch and to play with in my opinion and um, I wish we'd see a few more episodes with this gun because um, it's just something new and, in my opinion, very enjoyable to watch and that's why I put this episode I'm introducing in here. And last but not least, I put Team Bang's uh, Christmas Team Touch in here and, uh, in my opinion, it's one of the most enjoyable, or if not the most enjoyable, Black Ops 3 Team Touch that's been out so far. 
Um, I really, really love the song that Dwork picked for this, and obviously his editing is really nice, we all know that. Uh, he always makes some of the best edits for rock music anyway. And yeah, in my opinion, the clips are just so crazy, especially at the ending part. A lot of the very crazy clips are actually on Dom as well, which just makes it even better. And um, with this song by The Animal In Me, I think it is, it's just made this team test so crazy. And um, I've watched it so many times already. And it just makes me look forward to um, bigger team touches this year with Black Ops 3 clips in it because they look so well in team touches in my opinion. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'm going to see you in the next commentary with that sexy German accent. Bye.